Hi, in this tutorial I wanted to show you how to create custom ZBrush Morph from Genesis 8.1, uh, either male or female. I actually been doing it so many times and I always forget, so I'm mostly recording it for myself so I can follow along. Uh, you know, it does, it's very confusing. Okay, so um, first I'm going to go to my content library and then my does and Genesis, in my case, uh, 8 female, and then characters, no, not characters, just Genesis 8 female, and click Genesis 8.1. Okay, now it's loaded. I'm going to, first of all, um, remove my subdivisions for that i'm going to parameters and this root folder and i find my subdivision levels and i'm killing it then i'm going to remove eyelashes and tear and i'm going to export it as obj so i'm going to call it genesis female 801 and what I learned to do before I actually bring it to ZBrush, I import it as morph to make sure that it works because multiple times it didn't work for me and I had to start it over. So you want to go to Morph Loader Pro. Well, first you want to select your figure and then go to figure, Morph Loader Pro and click choose more files. So and here's our file click accept so morph created successfully it means this works if you try to change topology or um or bring something else um it will give you a different mistake it will be it will be like now i'm going to bring different figure and that will be the result that geometry did not match so you can't uh, change topology you can move it around deform it but you can't add more polygons okay so now i'm going to uh, jump into my zbrush import new base turn symmetry with x and I'll modify my bigger I'm using no brush I'm not going to go crazy so let's say um i change the i change the look i'm going to export it and now i'm going back to does click on to edit figure more floater pro choose more file and here's the file nothing changed in here though now we have new morphs in here this is our first morph which was just test so nothing changes when i do it and this our morph from zbrush okay so this works it's cool but now if i close it i will lose this morph i want to save it for that i'm going to click on parameter settings on this little cog I'm going to change it to um Z test. I'm going to bring it to actor people. Change it to zero and click OK. So now it disappeared from here. I can find it in my 
people in here. Now I want to save it so it's there forever, not just only for this session. And for that, I'm going to click on File, Save As, Support Asset, Morph Asset. And here I'm going to find it in my Actor, People, Z-Test, and click Accept. So now it should be there.